Hi everyone, Mike here, KM Radio Radio Stuff. Today I'm out in the park. It's, uh, I don't know, March 13th, I think. And uh, it's finally warm in Michigan. So uh, I thought I'd come out here and play uh, with the Redivus RT52. I've been doing a lot of DMR with this um, on my hotspot, but that's, you know, works great on that. But I'm curious to see what it does out here in the elements away from a hotspot because it is also an analog radio. Thank you. So here we'll, we'll go ahead and try the uh, Northfield repeater here. Stock antenna, five watts. Um, see what happens. CQ, 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 this is K8MRD uh, calling CQ uh, on the Redivus RT52, just looking for a quick uh, signal report if anyone's around. Station calling. This is Whiskey 8 Romeo. Woo, Uniform Romeo, Livonia, six mile and Haggerty Road. The uh, handle here is Terry, T like Tango. Uh, got, you got noise on you. Okay, Terry, yeah, thanks for coming back. Uh, the name is Mike, the, hand, uh, the call is Kilo 8 Mike Romeo Delta. Just testing out, uh, I'm up in West Bloomfield at about Haggerty and Richardson, uh, just testing out this, this HT on a, on a stock rubber ducky. It's the Redivus RT52 uh, running five watts out in the park right now. Okay, you're on a, you're on a handheld, and you got the heel of flex antenna. Yeah, when you're in, you're good, and then you just fade right out and drop out, and then come right back in again. So you're like finding hot spots in there. <laughs> Oh, that's funny. I'm trying not to move either. So, yeah, I, I don't get in uh, too well on this repeater at home on one of my antennas. And uh, another antenna in the front yard, I, I get in no problem. So, but yeah, I'm, I'm about 10 and a half miles north of the repeater. So, uh, that's that's to be expected on an HT for, for 5 watts on a stock uh, antenna. Yeah, you're not, uh, you're not making it. No, no. I only got a couple <laughs> words out of that whole transmission. All right, well, tell you what, I'm going to change antennas uh, and let me know how that works. To be expected from a rubber duck. W8RUR, this is K8MRD. I just switched antennas. How do you copy now? Well, I heard my call sign, <laughs> and then how do you copy? That's all I got out of it. Okay, yeah, I'm using a bigger whip uh, antenna now, uh, just seeing if this would make any improvement. It's supposed to be a bit more gain. Yeah, that's helping out. You probably got something that's about maybe seven or eight inches long. Ah, uh, no, this one's probably about 14 or so inches long. It's uh, kind of a two-piece antenna that unscrews, and uh, like I said, it's supposed to be a gain antenna, so... Uh, I don't know. Maybe it maybe it works a little better. Who knows? Well, conditions might have a lot to do with it too. But yeah, it definitely is better than uh, the other Heliflex antenna that you was using. Okay, good. Well, when you can hear me, out of curiosity, how does the audio sound on this? This is one of those Chinese. It's actually a DMR radio uh, that I'm doing analog on right now. Uh, you're about the uh, same level as um, the courtesy tone. Usually sometimes they run the courtesy tone about 3 kc or 3.2 kc wide. And uh, But uh, yeah, you're doing good. Okay. Okay, cool. I'll take it. Well, hey, I don't want to take up uh, any more of your time. I just wanted to get out here and test this radio because I've actually never used it for uh, analog. So good to know that it works and uh, I can get at least 10 miles or so out of it. So. Uh, thanks for coming back, W8RUR. This is K8MRD. Okay, K8MRD, 73, W8RUR. There's some terrain between me and that repeater, so like I said, I, I had trouble getting it at home uh, on one of my, oddly enough, on my 17-foot antenna, I can barely hit that uh, uh, repeater. So uh, that's actually pretty darn good for for this radio, five watts. I had to switch to this whip, that's fine. Uh, no big deal, I usually I usually have these on me anyway. The South Lion repeater 
is about 14 miles west of us right now. Let's try and hit that. That would be pretty impressive if we can hit that. There you are. We might have to throw up the big guns here. Nobody wants to talk to me. Raise the J-Pole. Stick around. So let's see here. Who's the farthest repeater in here? Probably Sterling Heights, I would guess. Oh, look at that. N8GM, I believe. N8GM, this is K8MRD. How are you doing tonight? Ah, doing well. I'm just out in a park. I just hoisted up a, a roll-up J-pole in a tree, trying out a new, uh, my new RT, Redivis RT52 uh, radio. I'm out in West Bloomfield right now, so uh, I would guess probably 15 or 20 miles as the crow flies uh, from the repeater. How am I coming in? A little bit of bacon, but nothing to even hey, worry about. I'll I had to that. actually listen for it, so. Great, I'll take it from a little 5 watt HT. The antenna, the roll up J pole is about uh, 20 feet up in the air, so uh, that's good. That's good, yeah. It's actually the first time I've ever uh, used this radio uh, for analog. It's a DMR radio, so just wanted to come out here. I'm actually making a, a, a YouTube video right now, see how it, uh, see how it sounds. I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't think that bacon frying is you at all. No. That's fantastic. I just uh, moved the truck a few feet and it got worse. So I think it's the distance between uh, my location and the, uh, the repeater site. I was in downtown Mount Clements, so that's okay. probably it. Probably not you at all. Well, hey, I'm happy to blame you then. <laughs> that's great. Yeah, good to, good to see this radio is sounding good. What did you say your call sign was again? I forgot. That's right. I forget it all the time, too. <laughs> N8 GEO, November 8 Golf Echo Oscar. Golf Echo Oscar. Okay, November 8 Golf Echo Oscar. Got it. Yeah, good. Well, hey, listen, I'm going to I'm gonna say 7-3 here. I just wanted to string this antenna up. I'm going to kind of see if I can hit a few repeaters around uh, around town and uh, what I can do with this little guy. So uh, thanks uh, thanks for the quick QSO there, and uh, we'll say 7-3. This is K at MRD. Ready, anytime, man. Anytime. Right on. Thanks for uh, yakking with me for a bit. <laughs> Kate MRD signed at ATU. I'll be clear. 7 3. Have a great night, man. 7 3. Cool, man. Man, right, right when we plugged the antenna in, he was calling out there, so that's cool. So, yeah, Sterling Heights is. Uh, I'll have to see how far away that is. Maybe put it in the comments, like right here. See if I can actually balance that. Uh, but that's. I think that's probably the farthest. Uh, repeater I have in here so that's cool I mean antenna 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 but the, the bottom line is is does the radio sound good um, I mean the audio here sounds fantastic uh, obviously it's not going to translate I mean I have an external microphone that's picking this up but um, you know it's probably not going to pick it up as, as well as I'm hearing it here um, that's probably a stretch between me and uh, Sterling Heights and me and uh, South Lion. Let's try South Lion again. See if we can get anyone there. K at MRD testing. One, two. K at MRD testing. Anyone got a second for a signal report? It's hard to see the screen out here in the in the daytime, though. K at MRD, WAYFL. W8YFL, KNMRD, how are you? Just testing out uh, the Redivus RT52, uh, the DMR uh, uh, and analog radio, and uh, got the roll-up J pull up in the tree about 20 feet. How's it uh, sounding on your end? You're coming in. Uh, you're coming about five, five, eight, five, nine. Okay, well, I'm out here in the western edge of Ken Township right now. Okay. So I'm not sure how well I'm getting into the machine, but you sound great. Awesome. You're getting in uh, good. The audio is excellent and uh, good Good signal in. Uh, I was copying you over on the Northville machine. Uh, you were breaking up a little bit there, but I caught most of that. So you were copying me on the Northville uh, earlier. That's cool. Um, I wonder if I wonder if RURs uh, or you had the same copy as uh, RUR did. Uh, yeah, I did, but I 
I was out, at that time I was out on the uh, I was on the out the other side of Ann Arbor, far west side of Ann Arbor. Oh. And I was up and down in the hills and stuff, so copy was marginal for me out there on the machine, anyways. But uh, you sound real good into this one. I'm not sure how well I'm holding it, so I think I'll bid you seven three and uh, let you continue on with your experimenting. Have a great evening. Uh, seven three for now. W eight YFL. Okay, thanks for coming back to be at YFL. Uh, yeah, you, you're sounding a little bit scratchy, but 100% copyable for sure. So, uh, 7.3, this is K at MRD. Those are the two farthest repeaters that I have programmed in here. Um, thing sounds great, man. I really, I really like this radio a lot. Uh, I don't have a problem hooking up an external antenna. I, that's why I made it. That's, <laughs> that's kind of what they're for. Uh, and in the whole spirit of outdoors and and ham radio and everything that we do on the channel you know this 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 whole setup fits perfectly so uh, I'm, I'm really pleased great little radio it really is I like the size I like the form I like the I like the dual PTTs um, I like the knob here to change frequencies um, it, it's it's a it's a quality radio guys if you like this radio I'll leave a link in in the description uh, to where you can get it uh, from Redivis. Thanks for watching and 73 K at MRD Radio stuff.